Hi everybody, my name is Matt Haynes, I'm an audiobook narrator, and I am on a mission to learn 52 accents by April 17th, 2016. We're going to accent number 10, Boston. Now, what you should learn about the way I'm learning accents is that uh, I go in the broad strokes and the very concrete uh, chunks. You're only going to get a sampling of five things that I've learned so far. There are some others. You don't want to take this video and directly apply it and consider yourself uh, authentic or fully fledged. But these are some fun starting places. Uh, this is inspired, by the way, by David Allen Stern's excellent series, Acting with an Accent, as well as what my own ears have picked up. Okay, Boston element number one. The A, the uh, short A, goes from an A ah to an A ah sound. So uh, it becomes much sharper. So instead of bat, like we would say in standard American, it becomes bat. Number two, the short O and the A-W uh, become an O. For example, stop, except in the case of it being preceded by, this is my little mnemonic, sing filth, or if you want to be conservative, don't sing filth. But if the ah or the aw are preceded by an S, an NG, an F, an L, or a TH, then it becomes the much more simple ah sound rather than aw. So we would say stop, but we say Boston or send it off. You can actually see me struggling with that change in the uh, presentational video, but we're all learning. Um, okay, resonance. Uh, Boston is not like New York, where it's much more lower jaw. You're going to get a lot more mileage out of it if you send it to the back of the mouth near the soft palate. And so instead of, we heard you're leaving, uh, which is Middle American, Standard American, uh, it goes to, we had you leaving. And speaking of had, we go to the infamous R drop of Boston. Uh, instead of you turned and run, it becomes you turned and run. And number five, the A sound. The uh, short A becomes E yeah when preceded by an M or an N. So uh, what I think of with this is uh, the mnemonic I use is Sam the man, like with cheers, Sam the man, Sam the man. Okay, let's get a little goofy and apply this to uh, the idea of a rejected party host in Steely Dan's Ricky Don't Lose That Number. We heard you leaving. That's okay. I thought a little wild time had just begun. I guess you kind of scared yourself. You turned and run. But you could have a change of heart. Ricky, don't lose that number. You don't want to call nobody else. Send it off in a letter to yourself. I have a friend in town that knows your name. We could go cruising down slow hand row. We could stay indoors, play games. I don't know. And you tell yourself you're not my kind, but you don't even know your mind. And you could have a change of heart. Ricky, don't lose that number. It's the only one you want. You might use it if you feel better when you get home. And that's Ricky Don't Lose That Number, lyrics by Walter Becker and Donald Fagan, music by uh, the versatile and very generous Kevin McLeod, who offers his stuff as public domain. It's, it's really quite wonderful. All right, up next is New York, and that is going to be channeled through Leonard Cohen's First We Take Manhattan. Here's where you, the viewer, get to have some fun, though. Comment below, you never know. Name a song that you'd like me to do, an accent that you'd like me to do, it just might end up in this series. I got a lot of these to go. In the meantime, rock on.